<laughs> Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing? So, uh, Lola still does not have uh, electricity. So, um, she's going to teach us how to make light or a candle using oil and some other. Yeah, oil, salt, and cotton only. Just, just oil, case, salt, and cotton. All right. Yeah, so, just, no. So, mm -hmm. just in case? Just in case you don't have gas. Or yeah. You don't need to buy gas. You just go to the kitchen, get oil and salt and cotton. Then. Wow, that, that I never knew you can make it with those. So that's I'm interested to see. This is my first time seeing it made like this. Mm. Lola, the legend. So all you need is just like a little jar, mm. and jar. then everything else. That's this is just acid or salt. Yes. Just a spoonful of salt a day. Yeah, right amount. <laughs> and then next one is. Tuba, Joe. <laughs> <Oil>. <laughs> it's nice to have tuba too. You can drink that while you make a candle. Mm -hmm. All right. It's almost like half and half. Wow. It's pretty. And then she will make a hole. All right. Be cover. careful. Be careful, Lola. Is it a special kind of oil or just any kind of oil you can use? Any what kind, what of, kind oil. of oil is this? Just, uh, just this one she bought yeah, at the Sarah Sarah like store? Yeah, and then cotton. So just make it big enough just to scoot it in there. So soak the tip. And now she's putting in the side out there, just a little bit on the tip. And the rest is all the way submerged in there, touching the salt. Lighter next. And how long will this last? Something mm, this just, size. Lola said just put this one, just put oil. More oil. You can just keep adding more oil? Yeah. Okay, so you don't need to add if the salt, does the salt disappear too? Butangan sa nag asin lano. Butangan sa put salt. Salt if you need it, okay. Yeah. That's amazing. How long do you think this will last until you need to add more oil? Kanang kuan lano, dipindi kung. Depends how big your jar. Okay. Mm. Like you can make this big, then it will last longer. Yeah. Do you think that'll last a couple hours or? Mga pila ka ni ka adlaw la? Duha? Gabi eh. Isa ka gabi ini? One night. One night. Wow. Or two nights. Pila la? And uh... Like that big one night. One night. And that's that's like a small size. We had one the other night and you can make the flame bigger. We had one before where the flame was like this big. And so if you wanted to, you can make it bigger. Yeah. A bigger jar. Actually, Lola made also. I'll get that. Asa tong Our, one la, that is, she okay. made that one gas. Katong gas ni mo ba? So you can make one. And it's not gas. It's like uh, lighting oh, fluid. So it's not the gas you buy at the gas station, right? Yeah. It's yeah, not. not okay. So where do you get this gas? Just like at the. Uh, you can probably get it any kind of store. And this one, Lola made this one made from antenna. Ah, 
So she just put it through kind of like the same concept there, yeah. but this is probably like kerosene or some uh. kind of lighting, lighting fluid. And um, it's like the same concept and it goes in there. And this is an antenna, Richie said. That's yeah. really cool. Which one do you think works better or more efficient? This one is because it's cheaper. It's cheaper, mm -hmm. okay. Because oil is more, a little higher than the okay. kerosene. But if you're at home, usually you don't have kerosene mm -hmm. at home. Mm -hmm. Usually you have the oil and salt. Mm -hmm. Most people have those things. Maybe not cotton balls, but usually maybe you do. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of homes here, yeah. you do. I know you have cotton balls mm -hmm. and most okay. girls do have mm -hmm. cotton balls. So she does have cotton balls. So usually if power does go out or something, it's like a brownout, you usually have these things to get mm. it but not, maybe not this one but they said this one is a little bit cheaper but this flame which flame do you think is higher because this is the one that was like out to here i've noticed that that one was uh bigger but and you can oh it's okay also with the residual light cover la. direct pressure is too big i noticed mom like that it's okay no cover just direct with the oil ah, okay it can but like this you need like that so it will not you know yeah and this probably just helps just in case it spills mm. then it's not all over the place mm. so you don't need to have a top you can have something like that just kind of sitting on the side yeah. if you don't have a top to something mm. but this kind of makes it just more secure having something you can mm. uh secure it this yeah. thing's inside very nice but yeah i i think that's useful that's very very useful mm. i mean we get brown outs yeah. Not really, we don't call them brownouts, but we get um out uh, exactly. power outages mm. near us too. And that comes in handy. I, I'm pretty sure I have all those ingredients at home mm. that I can just make at yes. home and do it. So you know now. Yeah, now I know how to do it. So mm. that's... Have you ever tried... Do you think you could do it without the salt? I think salt and oil together. Yeah? Because I wonder if it would work without the salt. Just the oil. But that that's... that's uh. Do you eventually have to pull more, more of that out? It's like that. Or is that good for the whole night? Good for the Just whole Just like night. that. Wow, that's amazing. Mm. Yeah, because this one will drink. Yeah. yeah. So to me, that's very yeah. interesting. So hopefully you guys learned something. I think uh when i saw that i was like oh that'd be interesting to see how it's made and now there's two ways so this is pretty much you just pour the kerosene in i think mm. that's what it is mm. and then you just get cotton and then for this one they use an antenna but you can do it the same way as that if it's mm. uh you know like a smaller yeah. jar so the premise is the same concept just uh different ingredients well thank you lola how mm. is everything going I just came here to eat dried fish. <laughs> <laughs> How was the dried fish? Lola's dried fish is so lovely. <laughs> uh, doctor's orders, I can't eat dried fish, sorry. Mm. Just me. <laughs> Lola is okay. She That's good. Us. Yeah. <laughs> How is it hard? What's the difficulty is having no electricity still? Like, what's the challenges right now having still no electricity? I think she's one of the only ones. It's just Imuk, Lola and so, maybe one other family around here but that's say, like the come on four four houses here. four houses because even nympha if you remember her we went by her house a few times um she has electricity now and she's just a little bit further away than a mook mm. so there's only yeah. four, houses, four houses so hopefully very very soon but man that's that's a really, really long time not to have electricity. So we're praying that it does come soon. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Now that's the new that's Waco. I think my Waco. I think Milo is still at our house, our oh. Richie's house. Uh, he nice. follows Richards over there. So he's kind of the king. Waco's the king over here. Waco. <laughs> he came. Well, he's came. He used to have another owner. Okay. But uh. He like he liked uh, Lola's <laughs> food. <laughs> yeah, so I will repeat the ingredients. Okay, okay, okay. I mean the things they need. Yeah. So oil, salt, mm -hmm. and cotton. Yeah, that's, that's it. And a jar. Easy in a mm -hmm. jar, or you can use a sardines, oh, like sardines you said. Can. Yeah, you don't need a specific kind of jar or mm -hmm. glass jar. It can be a sardines. Mm -hmm. It can be you know anything. Mm -hmm. Just not plastic. Don't use. Yeah. Don't use. I mean, uh, don't mm -hmm. use this. <laughs> 
Nice. Yeah, so hopefully you guys learned something. So uh, that was a little educational video for today. So I guess we'll say goodbye. That's probably the end of the video for now. Um, so yeah, we have, we, have, we have a big surprise for someone tomorrow. So uh, you guys could check out tomorrow's video. But today I think that's it. Lola, she had really good... Uh, <laughs> She kicks the, she cooks the best, uh, what, what do I like? Pork soup. Pork soup. That is delicious. And I'm not just saying that. It's better than like any kind of restaurant. Sorry, the sun is right up there. Sorry, I blind you guys. But she really is an excellent cook. Probably one of the best cooks around here. Uh -huh. She said she will cook again and come here. All right, good. It, it's so, so good. Cooking kind of runs in the family. Ram is good. Pedro's good. You, you, all you guys are good. I'm horrible. I can barely make TV dinners. You know, you know TV dinners? What's that? That's really popular in the United States. All you need is a microwave, and you get like a store-bought microwavable dinner. You just stick it in the microwave and put two minutes, and then two minutes, or, you know, whatever, five minutes, and then it's done. But they usually have like a little bit of meat, a little bit of vegetables, some like gravy, and like something like... It's not bad, but... That's, yeah, something that's extent, That's the extent mm. of my cooking. I I'm not, mm. I was never good at cooking. But anyway, I guess we'll say goodbye. <laughs> Lola keeps doing at the fire. <laughs> it is. I That's something about fire. It's like you can look up for hours and hours and hours. <laughs> Something's magical about a flame. Mm -hmm. It's like when you, have four, when you have fires around... And you're just looking at the fire, telling stories, yeah. and sometimes you don't even need, eat, don't even need to talk. You just mm -hmm. kind of uh, stare at the fire, the flame. Of course, the bigger the fire, the better it is for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> so you need bigger. It's fun. It's fun and having like when you're around friends, having a big bonfire. Have you ever had a bonfire? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember sometimes. Girl Scouts. For Girl Scouts. Mm -hmm. Did I know you were in Girl Scouts? Yeah. Did you learn this in Girl Scouts? No. No. I learned from Lola. What kind of things did you learn in Girl Scouts? Making fire out of the woods, and just make uh make friends. Make friends. And do sports. Nice. What sports did you play in Girl Scouts? Volleyball. Volleyball. Mm. Okay. And there's like singing contest, like it's like cheer dance, but not cheer dance, but you will sing, dance, and with that's the cool. Other. Mm. I recommend uh boys and girls to go into some kind of Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts. Mm. That was really cool. I did that when I was younger too, Boy Scouts. And the, my most memorable thing, we had this big open area, mm -hmm. and we built a maze out of boxes. Oh, maze. Yeah. And it was a maze that had many different, um, they had like, you know, dead ends, where you had to go, and you get and you had to turn mm -hmm. back around. Mm -hmm. And like, you, you were in this, it's like a huge, huge area of just boxes, 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 boxes. And it was just a maze. Like, you went in there, and it, it went totally different ways. Mm. And it was really, really cool. It's like an obstacle course of not just boxes, but there's other ones. There's another one. There's an adult version um, of like obstacle courses. I think it's called um, Mutter or Iron Man or different kind of things. And mm. I did as an adult. Mm. That was cool. It's like, an, it's like a, a, a race you do, but you do obstacle courses on the way. Like um, you have to carry a big iron stone and then drop it. And then you have to do like... Um, push-ups like these one things i forgot the exact name but you have to do a push-up stand up jump down push up down you have to do like 20 of those exercise. yeah but then you have to um climb this rope all the way to the top oh. ring a bell and then come down yeah in the water and if you if you do slip and fall you land into the water and then you have to go underneath the mud and then swim underneath the mud it's not just water it's like mm. mud where you you have caked in mud but yeah. it's so fun it's like iron man or something like that we had you have something like game, that here not like that but but in games, girl scouts yeah with like your school, my school. That's so cool. It's different school will meet. Yeah, so like different a competition. groups of camping like that. And there's yeah. competition the day after. That's so we, awesome. we do our own tent. I mean Yeah. Yeah. With our teachers and just students. That that's a lot of fun. That's being Rex memories. <laughs> yeah. Do you are you still in contact with a lot of your friends from Girl Scouts? Mm. Yeah? Yeah. They are just my classmates in elementary. That's cool. Mm. And before I, I had a ribbon of leadership because some of our song and dance from was from me like my name my, the my teacher before her name is Richie also and uh -huh. I was assigned to the, the leader kind of to uh -huh. make uh, dance steps and songs for our you know batch is it hard to teach people how to dance 
like steps? Um, it's not that hard because it's it's like an exercise or something. And there's music. It's more fun. Is it more challenging to you to learn a step? Or more challenging to teach someone else a step. More challenging to teach. To teach, yeah. yeah. Teaching sometimes is hard, mm. especially when you teach a lot of different people because everyone learns differently. Like, mm. you know, someone can pick it up easily, the other person cannot. You know, sometimes like with like a dance team, mm. like you're only as good as your weakest link sometimes. Because yeah. like if you have one person <laughs> kind of like, I'm always the weakest link in a dance, yeah. dancing wise. <laughs> yeah, but our steps, my steps before they didn't want, <laughs> but at least. It's not All about winning. Yeah. yeah. Did everybody know the steps though? How many uh, people did you have in your group? Mm, I forgot. Around 30 to 40. That's a lot oh. of people to teach a dance. Mm. But with the help of teachers, I'm just giving the steps and teachers will mm. help. Do you remember the steps? No. Can you teach me a dance? But I remember in college we have a uh, cheer dance too. Uh -huh. And one of my steps was also, um, what's that? I donate my steps because our, there. our... What's that trainer? Trainer said, "Who has an idea here of these steps for our song?" Yeah, and it should be sexy because our all girls, and we won. Really? But not the steps. Not all mine. I just but you contribute. Helped. Yeah. Contribute. That's I remember. Cool. Okay, 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 okay. It's like this. <laughs> it's like it's sexy, but it's just the steps. Um, <laughs> Lola, you cheer, can join too. It's a cheer dance, right? All right. And there's a part that are sexy because we are. The song is like, who won the world, girls? Who won the world, girls? And then there's kind of like this, and like this, like this, and like this, like, like that. Nice! <laughs> but we, many, many students showed, and then my trainer said, I like that kind, it's sexy. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. That's and cool. And we won. And you won. Yeah, How long years. was the dance? I don't know. I forgot. It's long dance. That's cool. We are, like, there's green team, yellow team, red team. And then, like, and we won. Congratulations! <laughs> but that's because that's because of my step with the help of others. Yeah, but still, you guys won, so that's cool. Yeah. Did you participate or just the teacher? Like, were you part of the dance? Oh, we are dancing. Yeah, so we are in the like line for practicing mm -hmm. a big complex, sport complex, and then there's music and just asking some steps yeah who wants to contribute steps for this dance and should be sexy like that that's that's awesome <laughs> and he made a joke he said where'd you get that step <laughs> what'd you say just <laughs> where did you get the steps just my idea it's just imagination oh. was dancing popular when you were younger lola no <laughs> how did how did you used to dance when you were richie's age or younger <laughs> Mm. What are some of your disco? Disco, Lola. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ch -ch -ch -ch. What do those dance moves look like? I don't know. Was that like like cha cha kind of thing? And, that, and and that's that's like the like the. Mm. And Lola's dance moves clapping. Like that clapping. That's my that's my go to thing. If you're at a dance club, I just clap and move a little bit. Yeah. But, Wow, it's fun to remember or to talk about, you know, your mm. college days, high school life, elementary. Yeah. That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> the flame is still going. That's good for one whole night. Wow, we're creative, Lola. If you blow it out, can you start it again? Will it start easy or no? Yeah, okay, good. It's easy. Try it. I'm just surprised how long that cotton lasts for. Yeah. Wow. It's drinking the time. Yeah, look, it's a little wet here, and that's all coming out from there, right? Mm. Lola said, um, what's nice of using oil and salt is the, you know, the fire, it's no black coming mm. out. Well, this one for kerosene, black. there's black. Okay. And last time she noticed, she's 
near with this one and we noticed Lola's like this is black. <laughs> really? Oh, <laughs> That's why not. That one. Ah. Uh, uh, this one now. That's actually good to know. I bet it's more healthy to have the oil. Just my guess than that one. You know, they have black around your nose. That's a sign of breathing in mm. some of that stuff inside your lungs. So that's probably, you probably want to start one of these and not be too close to it. <laughs> but, uh, you know, just to have light yeah. is nice to have. So I'm guessing that was a little bit more healthy. Mm. No. Hey! <laughs> oh, you're right, bro. Watch out. <laughs> Kumasta, you okay? Come here. Where's Milo? Where's Milo? Where's Milo? Where's Milo? Did Milo follow you? Where's Milo? Where's Milo? Where's Milo? We're just about to say goodbye. You can help us say goodbye. 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 Thank you. Thank you for watching. How was your day? Good. What did you do all day? Eating. Eating. It looks like you just ate something. What did you just eat? Eat one. Eat one. <laughs> Who can eat more? You or your papa? Uncle. You really? Are you sure? Yes. What's your favorite food? Candy. Candy. <laughs> cake? I think you ate most of Lola's cake. We had two cakes and you ate, I think, both of them. <laughs> what do you like? Chocolate cake or vanilla cake better? <laughs> I <like> both. both. <laughs> I'll take both. <laughs> All right, so we're about to say goodbye. Okay, bye bye. So see you guys later. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. See you later. <laughs> Thank you, Lola, for teaching us. <laughs> <laughs>